So here's an example of what we'll be creating today. As you can see, it's really simple, very easy to do. We're just creating different passes and showing each of those passes as they're happening in real time on top of the content that we're creating. This is really common practice for colorists and editors who want to show off their color grading or VFX and how it impacts the original captured content that they created. The first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and uh, go to our final clip that we have already selected. So I'm going to go to my other timeline. As you can see here, here's the final color grade. We want our final color grade to be at the very bottom of our layers. So what we want to do first is go ahead and I'll do a control C, which is going to copy the, uh, the sequence here. Um, you can do a command C if you're on a Apple computer. And I'm just going to paste this four times. And I'm just going to put all four layers on top of each other. All right, really simple, real easy to do, nothing too crazy here. So the first thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna work from the top layer going all the way down to the bottom layer. Our top layer is going to be um, our first, let's just say log layer, which has absolutely no color information on it. And then our last layer is going to have all of our color information on it. So starting with the top layer, we're gonna go into the color panel. I'm going to remove it from the lineup so that it only has just our first base color. As you see here, I have all four different grades on here. We have our base, um, no color correction. We have our primary grade, uh, which is just kind of working with um, just the basic tools. And then our secondary grade is working with specific colors. And then our final grade is everything combined together um, in a final action. So we're gonna separate all four of these into individual layers. So we'll go back to our editing tab. And we can see here that if I scrub through, all we're seeing right now is the base layer. Now, on the right-hand side, go ahead and click the Inspector tab if it's not already opened. Then click on Video. And then we're going to come down to Cropping. And this is the easiest way to do it that I found. But if there's another way, um, please, please, by all means, do that. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a keyframe. I'm going to move in probably about two seconds into the shot. I'm going to create a keyframe from left and then I'm going to go over another second and then put another keyframe, but move the left all the way to the right. And as you can see, we're already creating our nice little wipe there, showcasing the first color grade and our last color grade. Great, so we created a keyframe there. I can now play back. And there's our first color layer. But this is actually not the color layer we want to see, so we're going to move down to our next color. One thing you have to be aware of when you're working inside of DaVinci Resolve's color tab is that you have the right video selected. And as you can see here, we have all four video tracks selected, so make sure that we're working from the top all the way down. So this is our first layer, which is going to be our um, uncolor corrected layer. This is going to be our primary grade layer, then our secondary grade layer, and then our final grade layer. So on our first layer, we want to make sure that nothing is connected except for the base color. And I'll bring that over there and connect it to the output. On our second layer, we'll go ahead and connect everything except for our last two layers. And then on our third, we'll do everything except for the fourth. And our fourth is going to have all of our layers combined. Very easy to do. Super simple. So now that we've done that, we can just easily come back into our edit tab. I'll start again with the top layer. We can see that we've already added that and you can see how nicely it is working. We'll go ahead and start with our second tab doing the exact same thing we did before. I'll do crop left, click a keyframe and then move forward about a second. I'll keyframe everything over to the right. Then the same thing happens again. We'll come over here. We'll come down to our second layer, which is our third grading layer. We will add another keyframe and then move forward another second and then move all the way to the left. And then just like that, we've easily created all four color layers in one simple layer. So from the beginning, then our second layer, our third, and then our fourth final color grading layer. And that's it, pretty easy to do very simple to implement. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to put them down below in the comment section. And if you have any suggestions on anything you'd like to learn more about, just let me know. And uh, as always, if you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. It really helps us keep going. And uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks again for stopping by and happy shooting.